Hey, so I wanted to come on and make a video. Don't know how quick it's going to be, but um, a friend of mine just brought up to me. I said yesterday, I was talking to him earlier, and I said yesterday, and today just seemed a bit weird, and he said, define weird. Well, <clears throat> for those of you who know me, defining weird is very weird to do, but um, what I told him was it felt like yesterday, time was very, very... intermittent it was it was just in crazy like some things were taking forever and then some things were like oh my god that's over it was um I just noticed it different and in the meantime I, I time and I have a thing <laughs> um but what he said after that well what I said after that is and the wind the wind had a stalling in her breath all day um being out, I felt the stall in the wind. So he goes on and he's um not as I I, I am a bit more quantum intuition. I, I'm an energetic intuitioner. He is a he's studying to be a preacher. So he preaches the Bible. Me, I never really even opened the Bible until I was like mid thirties, and that's because my daughter told me to. Um, raised private Catholic school, taught by nuns, but we never opened the Bible. That's a different story for a different podcast. But um, anyway, what I was divulging into him, and what he just brought to my attention is, he said, "Well, you know, the wind. I can see how God, the wind carries the presence of God and." Um, you can feel it in the wind. So that, that apparently triggered the channel that I am in at the moment. And it's not just, you can feel the presence of God in the wind. It is, the wind is the presence of God in the divine, my hair, in the divine feminine aspect. Um, as I connect with the earth, with Gaia. Ooh, my hair. As I connect with Gaia, I had a hat on. Let me put my hat back on. As I connect with Gaia, I, um, oh, maybe I didn't bring my hat. Yes, I did. I can feel the power of the spirit within me. I really need to get a phone set up for this. I can feel the power of the spirit within me. And as I breathe the wind in, this is working with the elements and, and a Getting to know what and who and how to connect with them, how they work, because they do work differently. So the element of the wind, what I do is light up the God spark within me and breathe the wind in. She comes to you. And with that, the voice of my spirit in my words, because I am the Logos. I am the living word of God, right? So my spirit within me. And as I breathe the breath of God in the wind, the, the divine, in my opinion, my belief is the divine feminine aspect. The wind then integrates with my spirit and they create a different energy within me, within my physical being. And the prayers that I speak, the words and commands that I love with or hate with. Um, and I, I'm still on this journey too nobody's yeah we all are perfect that's not what i was saying that's programmed however okay so what i was going is i breathe it in and that energy combines literally the, the energy of my spirit and the energy of the wind create a new energy and the words that i speak within that place that i am are words of prayer to god and my spirit is the one that speaks to God. That's what God can understand. Well, this is coming all over me. The wind carries. <laughs> I've got spirit chills everywhere, and it's like flooding out of my body right now. Um, the wind carries the voice of the spirit to God in the asking of any thing that we want. Um, <laughs> that was overwhelming. Um,
So, and that, the energy that I am in, there she is, in the wind and using the wind as a tool for my divinity to claim my right, I must use it. And to use the wind, you just breathe her in. No matter where you are, if you sit, it could be in a desert with no wind or a hot day, we're in the middle of the sun, whatever. But if you sit and you ask her to come to you and be your breath, I swear you can try it anywhere you are within moments. She will come to you and be your breath. All you have to do is call on her. And I say her. Um, I say her because I believe, I, I know the Bible says God created heaven and earth. Um, didn't say anything about water and wind. So I believe the water and the wind are the elements of the Divine Mother, the nurturer, the protector, the healer. And we must call on her. She's ready to take our pain and transmute it. However, we must call on her. And um, apparently, I've got some densities right here that's coming to the surface. <laughs> Let me go sit in the grass. But um, anyway, that's what, not anyway, any, every way, that is what I wanted to come on and make a video about because. Um, not another better spot or place in the universe than right now and right here. So, the wind. Use the element of your mother mixed with the fire of your spirit and send your prayer to God. It will swiftly, swiftly come back to you. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Have a wonderful day. And um, I'm going to sit in the grass and cry. <laughs> Don't you love it? Take care.